Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. When women say he can get it. You know what, this uh, is an unofficial follow, well, it's kind of a follow up to a video I did a while ago called The Body Game. And it was probably one of my uh, earlier videos, right? Still doing live stuff before, you know, um, before I, you know, had to kind of start doing it this way because it's easy to keep up. There's a bitch doing those live videos, y'all, because I got to hit the lights right and everything, but I digress. But when a woman say he can get it, basically, and this, this is the real game for the fellas. I know we talk all this stuff and people want to know all these techniques and all of that. Women make their choice in a few seconds. And of course, you know, we can talk about how it's wrong and they should look for character. I certainly do. I always say look for character. But we got to be realistic. It's about a physical presence that the man has that the woman is being turned on by. She's looking for that spark. <clears throat> and that spark don't have anything to do with the man's car, his degrees, his mouthpiece. You know, whatever game he, <laughs> he has. That woman is choosing because she's looking at that man's body and she's getting wet. And I think, uh, you know, in my books, Nice Guys and Players, Sexual Chemistry, Meeting Attractive Women, that's so much in uh, a player's eyes, right? But those first three books, I always talk about, I make a big emphasis on a man getting his body together. Understand this and forget this ain't about... Because a lot of guys like to say, well, you know, the woman's nature is crazy. No, her nature, a woman's basic nature is to reproduce that man. Let me say that again. Her drive is to reproduce that man. And to reproduce the best man that she can come to, that she can find. When she see that man, she turned on by his body. I don't care what her political leanings are, how much money is in her bank account. Her vagina, her womb is saying, oh, I want to reproduce him. I want to carry his seed. And that's just a woman's nature. I don't care where you're going to plant. Now, we have evolved all this cultural stuff to try to kill the woman's nature like that or try to uh, control it so she wouldn't get with knuckleheads. And in this day and age, she, she really does have to exercise better control and kind of go against her womb sometimes, especially if the guy is um, a menace to society or to her. But that's not going to go away. That's not going to go away. You know, the best game is a man getting his body tight. Now, understand something just real quick. It don't mean you become super muscular. It ain't about that or getting a bunch of steroids and, you know, looking like a bodybuilder or something. Even though there are women who want that. It's about getting the best body that you can. Because women, I'm, look, let's just be real, y'all. Let's just be real. Forget everything that you heard or you want to believe. The key is the body. You know? And I think I told this, uh... Well, not a story, but there's been a couple women in my past when, you know, like I said, if I don't, if I don't work out or anything, I'll have a tendency to gain weight. I mean, especially if I don't work out for a few months and eat a lot more. So, you know, when I was younger, when younger, I was more, you know, stocky, you know, the body wasn't tight. But then there was a point I had to get the body tight. And I talked about this in the body game, right? I had women who had me in that friend zone. Who all of a sudden doing nasty things to my body. That turns them on. They shoot. If look, I talk a lot about Mr. Goodbar. The main ingredient is his body build. It's a nice body build. It, it's not necessarily perfect. It's not necessarily like six uh you know six pack abs or anything like that. 
It's just he has a nice body build. And, you know, it's in our DNA. Just like men. Just like men, we are attracted to certain body builds. Like the ultimate body build, any place on there, there's some variations, but first of all, except there are, I mean, something someplace like uh, Mauritania or something where they like big women. Most cultures, most cultures like a figure eight in a woman. Most cultures like a figure eight in a woman. That's a biological thing. It ain't, uh, it ain't some Western Standard thing. It ain't some political thing. It's our biology. Just like with, but women, they have a strong attraction. There have been studies that, like, looked at this. Strong attraction with a man who has kind of a V upper body, V shape, broad shoulders, big chest, nice arms. Maybe not so much a, a six-pack ab, but, you know, if the chest and shoulders go out further than the stomach, they'll deal with a little bit of uh, meat on the stomach, right? Now, of course, that's general. Everybody has their own preferences and stuff, especially based on whatever their imprints are. But, in general, if a man get his body together... He might not need any other type of game. Now, I know this goes against what many dating coaches want to say and everything. And you still, I mean, you do need other stuff. I mean, but because the body is just a foundation. But if you're able to turn a woman on with your body, it gives you a lot of uh, leverage. That's when game kicks in. Because if you recognize it, then you can do something about it. Now, you still got some nays naysayers out there. Right. For whatever reason, usually because their body builds aren't the same or they don't feel like their body builds are right. Here's the thing with that. Right. First of all, the body build is as long as you have that general body builds, you're good to go. Now, you don't have to be six feet. You can be smaller stature with a decent body build. I'm not, you know, I know of a player, older guy. He was he was described as only being about five feet, but he was he was fucking everything. But he had a good body build, and I've seen other guys like that with good body builds. You know, I remember I seen this one dude. He was about five four, but he was muscular, and kind of he kind of looked like Barney Rubble, like Barney Rubble. This one, I saw this young girl just all up in his face. She was I was like, damn girl, she looked like she having an orgasm. And I mean, if you think about, if you think about it, right, if you doubt it, um, something I haven't seen in the news lately, or maybe I just stopped paying attention, but think about all these teachers sleeping with these young boys. Now, I know people say, well, maybe they had game or anything. No, they had nice bodies. They had tight bodies and some energy. Because think about something. What can what kind of game does a fifteen year old have? He can't drive. You know, he doesn't have any of his own money. And most even if he got some little part time job somewhere, he ain't gonna be able to like support some woman financially. You know, what what, what kind of game he gonna have? What what kind of game he gonna spit at a woman? An older woman, a teacher or something like that. Probably a married teacher. No, his game is the body, tight body. That's what they're going for. And, you know, sometimes, uh, sometimes if somebody like you and they feel in your body or something, they aroused by your body, that can even go across cultures. There's been a few times in my life I've interacted with Spanish speaking women, yet I don't speak Spanish. But I could tell by their reactions that they were dealing, you know, they were feeling me, you know. I can think of a, quite a few reactions. Yeah, that's all I'll say about that. But, you know, when women look at a man and say he can get it, it's the body, y'all. And I mean, like I said, you still need to be able to talk to the woman and all that stuff. But if you get the body tight, that kills a lot of stuff. That makes shit easier. 
He really does. Now I know some people have different philosophies and all of that. You know what? That's all good. Because everybody doesn't want to get their body tight and all of that. But I'll put it like this. I base what I say not only just on observation, like a general observation, but really just talking with a lot of dudes who are lovers of many women. Not, not like every man, regardless of what he look like, his personality can get a woman. And if that's what you want, hey, that's cool. You don't have to you don't have to get that body tight or work it, you know, work out in the gym. You don't have to do all that. But the men who were getting multiple women didn't necessarily have money. You know, they didn't even have looks in some cases because the body, you know, a lot of people think it's about the face, but, you know, a lot of women don't really want a man who looks better than they do. So as long as he's decent enough to walk out in public with, they shoot, most women are cool. But, but, you know, they, if they turned on by their body, that's like, bam. You know, that's what that's what they're looking for. Because if you think of think about it on a practical level, right? Women want sex. They they want sex. A lot of guys, for whatever reason, don't seem to get that or even accept that. They think, oh yeah, I'm gonna get mine. But you know, no. Nah. A woman has to look at a man and be comfortable seeing him naked. I'm gonna say that again. A woman has to be comfortable with seeing him naked. And if she see a man and she look at him and she say he can get it, her imagination is saying, you know what, I want to see him naked. Trust me, it works. Because like I was going to say, you know, if you look, take an honest look at the men who are getting multiple women, who got, who get, who getting panties thrown at them. They don't have to approach a lot of guys like trying to learn how to approach women. Shoot, you get that body right there approaching you. They finding a way. Could get annoying and stuff because someone want to touch you in public and shit and grab on you or something. Or you got total like women who are halfway total strangers or just know you a little bit always want a hug or something. Yeah, it can get a little annoying. But the more women that you can arouse with your body, just your body gives you a greater uh, net, greater number of women that you can like pick and choose from to find someone compatible. Think about it. I mean, that's the primary thing. Because understand something, um, all of my books, all I really teach is about a natural blueprint to sexual relationships. The sex is there. When we born, we already have everything within us to draw a mate. Indeed, for men and women now, right? If you are at your optimal body shape, listen to what I'm saying. If you're at your optimal body shape, you will have a tendency to draw people to you that are naturally compatible. Yeah, I know that's some deep stuff, but start thinking about that shit. With, or try to get to your optimal shape and see what happens. You will tend to draw people who are naturally compatible. Yeah, you'll, you'll get some people in there you might not want to deal with. But the people that you click with, you know, if you got that body, it draws it too because that's nature. And there's a, there's a little something else in there. in there, But, uh, yeah, yeah I'm still not ready to hear about the blood matrix. So, anyway, right? I'm just going to um, end this and just say, you know what, fellas, fellas, fellas. And I'm just, I'm just telling you, this shit works. I mean, why don't fight against nature, right? Don't fight against it. You want a woman can, to look at you and say, he can get it. So, anyway, that's it for today. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.